Views on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Luhan. Good evening and Happy New Year, Guam. I'm Jess Luhan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. Tonight I have two gentlemen here, good friends of mine. Of course, I have Bobby Sheringi, who's the chairman for the Guam Chamber of Commerce, and of course, Jim Moylan, who is the chairman for the Legislative Committee under, of course, the Chamber of Commerce, right? Right. Did I get that correct? You got it. Okay. You got that correct. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And also a senator candidate for the upcoming 35th Guam Legislature, right? 35th, that's correct, Jess. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. Tonight, I asked you guys to, to come here to talk business and talk taxes. I know. Wait, 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 wait. Love it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You know, there, 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 are, there are proposals, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I know you guys are Republicans. I, I've known you guys <laughs> for years. Yes. I'm Republican as well. You know, Great. I'm, 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 I'm kind of, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in this this situation here because mm -hmm. I wasn't invited to the Republican meeting when the Republicans became Democrats and the Democrats <laughs> became Republicans. <laughs> maybe, maybe we, we could make that another show. Okay? That's, that's another show. <laughs> there, there, yes. there we go. Anyway, make sure I'm invited to that though. You were invited? <laughs> yeah. Make sure I'm invited to the there, next there show. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> gentlemen, uh, thank you for coming and Happy New Year to you. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Yes. And congratulations on your uh, on uh, being selected as the, uh, the chairman of the uh, Thank of you. The, actually, the year, the, the, my term actually comes to an end in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks. In okay. a couple of weeks. Yeah. I was a 2017 mm -hmm. chair. Uh, we will be selecting a new chairman, or okay. chairperson rather, uh, I believe sometime this month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and when that happens, I'll become mm -hmm. the pa immediate past chair. Yeah. And, and the, actually, in the revelation here, you know, well, transparency is like your, uh, your brother Akash. Uh, was my staffer a great yes. miss him tremendously a yes. great uh, 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 a great legislative uh, um, individual correct uh, great writer miss great him tremendously. writer same yeah. here same here it's been 10 years now so yeah yeah, yeah. 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 anyway gentlemen thank you again um, these proposed taxes business privilege tax the bad guy I mean you guys are both in business I'm in mm -hmm. business yes. as well you know yes. The bad guys uh, are, 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 are are the business guys at, at this point <laughs> you know um, I'm not quite a fan of, of, of Trump, although he's going to give us a chinchulis, right? And, yes, uh, yeah. sure. And it's looking like probably the next couple of, of paychecks that people are going to start seeing that, uh -huh. you know, as soon as the 2017, you know, whatever the hours of work there went, once people are into the 2018 mm -hmm. uh, yes, cycle of, of their payments, you'll probably start seeing that in, in their paychecks, right? Correct. So, when, or when uh, Trump says, this is what we're going to do, and the federal tax, uh, you know, the, the um, <clears throat> tax reform they had uh, nationwide, it affects us here, which is good. There's more money for consumers, more exactly. money in our, in, in our pockets. But the legislature, and particularly Senator Rodriguez, Senator San Augustine, and uh, Speaker B.J. Cruz, um, they're saying, hey, look, bad business guys, poor people and middle class people, I need to get into your chinchuli and take that fr from you. Mm -hmm. That's the layman's term. The, the uh, chamber's terms. The chamber's <laughs> terms are very simple. <laughs> very, uh, similar to, it's, sim it's similar to Nana's logic, it's, right? It's very similar to what we were talking about earlier. I mean, you know, the chamber's perspective is very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's this perception being created that all businesses are these big, Bad guys, bad guys these mm -hmm. big boogeymen. Mm -hmm. uh, what they fail to realize is a lot of our businesses on Guam mm -hmm. uh, represent real small entities. Sure. And Jim and I on the drive here, we're, we're talking about how you know what the economy uh, basically on Guam really comprises of, and mm -hmm. it's really the small guys. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of these small guys, they're not exactly driving the Porsches and the mm -hmm. Ferraris or mm -hmm. staying at penthouse suites. They're Jesse, they're myself, they're, sure. they're, they're, they're typical individuals who do what they can to make it. And, and there are a lot more businesses out there that are not ch members of the chamber. Exactly, right. a yeah. number sure. of them. Yeah. And so, you know, the, when, when we look at these proposals, uh, coupled with what we were seeing in 2017, mm -hmm. I mean, the, there was a proposal to increase mm -hmm. GRT uh, by 19%. There mm -hmm. were, uh, you know, proposals to increase certain fees, the, the port tariffs, the liquid mm -hmm. fuel taxes. Sure. Uh, you know, you start looking at these things and you ask yourself a question, how does that impact how a business is going to sure, operate. Sure. Uh, and, and what people 
fail to realize is somebody's going to eat up the cost. Sure. You know, when, when you start talking about it, one of the proposals in the uh, Senator Rodriguez uh, legislation or draft legislation, mm -hmm, rather, mm -hmm. uh, was to remove the exemptions that sure. are granted to mm -hmm. wholesalers. I have uh, well, yeah, right there. <laughs> and the question of the day is, who eats up that cost and what happens? Well, mm -hmm. that's, this is real simple. Sure. This is a uh, math uh, economics 101. Mm -hmm. Wholesaler will say, okay, I got a new op new expense. This, this uh, you know, uh, Senator Rodriguez's new uh, proposal says I have to now pay a four percent mm -hmm. tax. Mm -hmm. Sure, I will now pass that on to the retailer mm -hmm. who's about to be retailing my product. Mm -hmm. So there's a new tax. The retailer now pays a little That's bit right. more in that expense. Now to cover up the retailer's 4%, mm -hmm. as well as this new increased sure, cost, sure. the retailer now has to increase their cost. That's right. That's they right. pass it on to the consumer. That's you and I and everybody else that's, right. that's watching that's us right. on, on mm -hmm. TV tonight. Uh, and so what happens is you're now creating a double taxation. Mm -hmm. But let's say that wholesaler now passes this on to a restaurant owner yeah. who now says, okay, well, this is an increased cost right here. And that restaurant owner goes to a retailer to purchase the additional mm -hmm, mm -hmm. items that they need, milk and eggs, et cetera, sure, et cetera. Sure. And then suddenly that's a double tax. The consumer will now have to pay a triple mm -hmm, tax mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when they purchase it at the, at the restaurant. Sure. So that's a simple, that's just a real simple science. But, but you know, also, also the other work. side of this, uh, Jim, and also yes. uh, um, <clears throat> Bobby in, in, in this, right, is, is that we, all, we also know that we, we also have some Guam products, okay, Guam products. And, and, and I know we're, we're, we push for that. I know the Guam Visitors Bureau, you guys push mm -hmm. for, for Guam-made products uh, and, and, and Guam businesses and, on, and all that. And when you, when you look at taxation and stuff, and that's passed on to, say, Guam products, right? I mean, of course, we don't, I mean, products that are made in Guam are not in mass amounts, okay? In mass amounts. And so if you tax that product, a Guam product, that only makes maybe a few thousand, okay? A few thousand. Compared to maybe, I, and because you want Guam product, you know, to, 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 to be bought and, and enhanced, you're buying from, although it may cost a little more. So if you if you add those taxes, you're going to say, shoot, let me let me go to to a company that makes identical product. I, I can get three thousand of this thing, and they're going to give me a better price with this thing. So you're going to can your Guam made product for something else right. be, because right. you want your consumer to be able to still have that at an affordable price. So that again is discouraging Guam, uh, you know. Product sales. Exactly. Right, right. It, well, which we don't want that be, uh, sure. to be done at all, right? And just like Bob, uh, what Bobby was talking about, these small businesses, mm -hmm. these, are, these are the folks. These are the folks that want to do good for the island, want to mm -hmm. do good for their families, want to do good for the community mm -hmm. and, pro and promote the um, Guam, Guam product, mm -hmm. right? So they, these types of legislation, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure, like when the senators are, are thinking about this, they put mm -hmm. that all into their mind, but really, yeah, let's not let's not add the taxes. Let's mm -hmm, let's mm -hmm, not increase mm -hmm. the taxes. Let's let's talk it over. Talk it over with the business mm -hmm, folks. Mm -hmm. We're more than willing to talk with uh, the senators, and we're going to be having some discussions mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. with them to really sit down and. There, there's other options. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, OPA did did some suggestions sure. as well. Let's look at other things. We can always throw more money mm -hmm, at it. Mm -hmm. We can always tax the people more, but. But why? At the mm -hmm. end, we still have those same issues. Yeah. Right? See, see, one of the things as well, when, when, you, when you look at businesses, when you look at businesses, right? Businesses, you got to lump them in all to one thing. But you got you got to also look, at, and I, I think our leaders fail to, to understand this, that not all businesses are equal, okay? Right. You have some real big businesses, like the, you know, I mean, if, if you look like, like a Kmart, okay? Yeah. That, that's a national, international chain, okay? Right. Your businesses are not national chains. Yeah, you're, right. you're Guam businesses, right okay? Yeah, okay? And then, so even if you have sub-businesses, they're even smaller than you, right. okay? Right. The mom and pops, okay? So the mom and pops, they may go out there and buy a case or two of spam, okay? Now, your business, you may buy a container of spam, right? right. Okay, the other businesses, they buy... 30 containers of spam. So they get theirs a lot cheaper than you do, right. okay? Sure. The mom and pop that only buys two cases, they, they get per, per unit a lot more expensive than you do. Right. You know, and likewise, this, this other company out here. So not all business. So when businesses are affected, the one most affected is the mom and pop. Exactly. Right. 
Exactly. I got to take a quick break. Sure. Pay some bills. Sure. Okay. Buy more spam. Be right back. 